Good morning, y'all. <laughs> I'm still sleepy, but good morning, y'all. It is six o'clock right now, and I'm about to get ready and get dressed and be on my way to the airport. Um, I got two hours before check in. Check in about eight twenty. By the time I get there, it's probably gonna be like six twenty or something like that. So I still have two hours to um, check in, get through um, clear, and get at my gate. So. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just packing up my suitcase, finishing touches, and I am about to get out of here. So I'll probably update y'all when I get to the airport. If you ever flown through Atlanta or you from Atlanta going to this airport, you know Atlanta airport is always busy, busy, busy. But as far as your flight, just make sure you check in for COVID requirements. Turks and Caicos had just lifted theirs, so thankfully we didn't need to get the vaccine, but they definitely do check for that at check-in. And I flew with Southwest. Um, my ticket only cost four fifty seven, and that was from the 12th through the 16th. So this is just me going through TSA and getting to my gate. And um, I didn't record, but um, at this point I had already made it to Florida. I didn't have a direct flight. I had a stop. So I'm sitting in the bathroom just waiting. I had a two hour layover in Florida, y'all. So I wish they had a direct flight to Turks and Caicos, but I don't know if they did. I didn't find one, especially for the price that I had. So I just waited the two hours and then it was just time to board to go to Turks, y'all. I was so excited. Um, when you get it off the flight, they make you fill out an immigration form that you need to take with you to um, Turks and Caicos Airport. When you get to immigration, they check it. So they don't allow phones out when you're going through customs, but this is me meeting up with my friend. I was so excited to see her. Um, we had to get us a taxi to get to um, our Airbnb. Um, just beware when you're looking out for taxis. It's going to be a lot of people standing up outside, but it's not like the States when you get in the Uber and everything. Um, it's not like you're trying to figure out who's who. Um, uh, the certified taxis in Turkey and Coast, they have like an orange sticker. I don't know if you can see it in the top window, but they have the orange stickers that say they're certified to drive through Turks and Caicos and be a taxi company um, and it's government approved. So if you're going through the airport and you're trying to find you a taxi, just look for that orange sticker. But y'all, this was so interesting to me. They drive on the opposite side of the street. Like I was so fascinated by that. And they also drive on the opposite side of the car. Um, some cars they drive on the right side, but some cars they drive on the left, but most of them drive on the opposite side of the car and everybody drive on the opposite side of the street. But this is just us um, on the way to our B and B before we finally got there. Ugh. Okay, y'all. You first coming to know the room. The first thing on the left. Got a little TV. Got a little table. This bed is so cute, and it got the little thing at the top. I don't know what that's called. Right? You know what that's called? Canopy. A canopy. That is too cute. And then um, this is the closet. It got another pullout bed, but there's only two of us, so we straight. And then the bedroom, the second on the right, and it's also attached to the bedroom. And this the shower, toilet, tissue. This is super cute. That's super cute. And you know what I mean? Okay, let me stop playing. Okay, boom. Then you come out. Like I said, this is the second door on the left. Come out, and this is the kitchen and the living area. <laughs> Gee, that's the refrigerator right here. Kettle of microwave. Two microwaves. We double up. Got a um, stove right here. Girl, they said, I'm make sure y'all eat. You know what that might look like? He's off. It got the little laundry room area here. They got mirrors everywhere. They say y'all gonna be some fancy business pose, right? Yep. Mhm. Mm they got some pool noodles in here. We gonna use them. I don't care. They got pool noodles in here and sunscreen and some more beach chairs and beach stuff. Yep. So yep, this is the kitchen. 
like I said, they got mirrors everywhere. Boom. Okay, so this is the living area. Got another table. And the view, but hold on, we're gonna get to that. And then yeah, this the couch. TV. All the pieces are just so cute. It's definitely giving what it's supposed to be given, Caribbean Island vibes. So yep. This is it. Uh, and I'll show y'all more when we go like downstairs and stuff. So yeah, we stayed at a place called the Yacht Club and it was super, 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 super nice. But honestly, if I was to go back, I would probably stay um, in a hotel that was next to the beach because it's literally close to everything and you can walk and you wouldn't have to depend on a taxi service every day. With us staying in the Yacht Club, we had to make sure that we had to depend on the taxi service every day, wait for them to come get us whenever somebody was available. So that was... I would say the only downside about staying over here, but it was just super, super beautiful. And we had our own outside pool. But y'all, let me tell y'all something. They told us about these mosquitoes when we was, before we came to Airbnb people. And when we was on the elevator, why are we surrounded by mosquitoes? <laughs> so, yeah. So, just keep that in mind. And they said something about the water that they said they seen. People say you're not supposed to drink the water in Turks and Caicos or something like that. But they said uh -huh. as far as they know, the water is fine. So, yeah, we probably just going to drink the ice. I mean, well, not even drink the ice. Use the ice as a chiller when we drink. But as far as the water, they did tell us use bottled water instead. So, that's what we're going to do. But we about to do something. What we about to do, right? Y'all, the closest Walmart in Texas. <laughs> it's fine. This bitch, they came here with no social life. So, we finna have to find a store to go to. We what probably not know? even gonna be able to pronounce it. They swimming, swimming. They swimming, swimming, y'all. It ain't nobody out here. It's so peaceful. I could live here, literally. Like, it's peaceful. It is it's peaceful. It's so quiet. But yeah, we about to get ready. I'm going to hit y'all later. So we end up taking the taxi to Sawmill Plaza. Um, that's where a lot of the stores, restaurants, hotels. This is where everything is. Um, uh, gift shops, souvenir shops, everything that you want, especially going to be in this area. They even have like um, hotels in this area. You can walk through the hotels to get to the beach. So literally every single thing is over here. So I'm just showing y'all the street, the view, the restaurants. It's just so beautiful over here, y'all. Like, it's just so <laughs> pretty. So but it's a whole strip you can walk down. The whole Sawmill Plaza is like a strip that you walk down. It is cute. It's all walking. I put on my YouTube. It's like everything just got its own little scenery i'm sorry everything so after we walk the strip we end up getting food at aziza and aziza is like the turn up spot of the island like after night everybody just get dressed up and they go to aziza and they basically just like party it's not really a restaurant that they say where you eat it but the food was good it's just the second day out here we're on our way to the beach i mean not the beach the, the pool. pool. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the rail so y'all can see the pool. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the pool. 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 So after we left the pool, we went back to Sawmill Plaza to give me a swimsuit because y'all, I realized I left all my swimsuits and I was so upset because if y'all can see their stores, their stores are not my flavor and they're like super, super overpriced, y'all. They're, they were charging like almost $200 for two piece swimsuits and this, it just wasn't my flavor, like to each they own, but it just wasn't my flavor. But since I didn't have no swimsuits, I did have to end up getting two swimsuits from there. But luckily, I was able to find some that was like $40 a piece. So I got me this white one and I got me a yellow one just like it. 
Hey y'all, cause we're back in Sawmills. This is day two. So we went to the pool this morning, like I showed y'all, and now we just getting something to eat. We at Castaways right now, and yeah, we just gonna have a chill day today. I wanna do the drone photo shoot today, and we gonna make it do what it do. This is our food. I'm probably gonna voice over this. I said I wanted to do the drone photo shoot today, but we found out today that all their excursions closed by 6 o'clock. So if you want to do an excursion, you have to book it super, super early. So the only thing left for us to do was parasailing. So we ended up walking through the Ritz-Carlton to get to the beach so we can meet the boat to do parasailing. And this was our experience, y'all. It was so super, super fun. I was kind of scared because, y'all, if y'all saw the way this boat was rocking, like, y'all can see it. It's for y'all to put us in the air on this boat and to think that we felt safe. I did not feel safe. And I am very, very adventurous. But we let the other people go first. And my friends started getting most scared and most scared the way this boat was rocking while we let them other people go first. But... By the time it was our turn, it didn't feel that bad. So, um, it was just super, super fun. Man, how are y'all? We got there. It's like they had a walking land in the same I got this one on my neck. Keep my phone. Oh, we got the phone. meeting these men they was like y'all want a free boat ride and we like yeah let's go so they took us around the whole entire island showed us what drake house was um it was a nice little tour we stayed out there for about an hour and a half or something like that and then we end up going back to the ritz carlton walking back to the ritz carlton to get back to south Mill plaza to catch a taxi back to the yacht club so the next morning we end up going to a place called Turkberry and y'all it was so super cute on the inside. It was kind of like a frozen yogurt place but they had like coffee and lattes and stuff like that. The vibes it gave me was like you know how they mix like Dunkin and Baskin Robbins. That's the vibes Turkberry kind of gave me but more like gourmet type. So I'm glad I found them because I'm a coffee head and I'm glad I found them because I needed my coffee. But we ended up getting frozen yogurt from them too, which was super, super good. They had like a plethora of toppings. Um, I just got a frozen yogurt with some uh, Reese cups on top because I'm super, super plain. Yeah, dark already. I see it too. We're on our way to Noah's Ark. So with today being Sunday, anybody on the island will tell you Noah's Ark is the place to be on Sunday. Like everybody goes. So we had to catch a taxi to Blue Marina or something like that. It's where basically like a taxi for boats. So you could get a boat if you don't have one. Your boat can come pick you up from here or they have boats there that can take you to Yacht Club. But we already had Captain Frankie that gave us the boat ride from yesterday. We had already paid him to come pick us up from Blue Marina and take us to Norse Ark because Norse Ark is a island party that's in the middle of the ocean. So this is us pulling up to Norse Ark. All the boats are outside, y'all. And it was just vibes. They had hookah, drinks. But they told us to bring your own bottle because their drinks be so out early. So we ended up getting some Bel Air and we ordered us a hookah. And um, they were playing some good music too, y'all. They were playing like 
Chicago music, Jamaican music. Um, everybody was out there on their jet skis. You can get in the water. They had food. Like I can understand why everybody said Noah's Ark is the place to be on Sunday, y'all. We just had a ball. Like it was just a ball. Like especially with it being in the middle of the the ocean. Like who have throw parties in the middle of the ocean? Like <laughs> Thursday cake goes just super super fun. So this is just me turning up. And then we called Frankie and told him we were ready to go back. I had ordered some food on the boat, some comforters and some tacos, y'all. These were super, super. The comforters and the tacos were seasoned. Like, they knew what they were doing. So this is us pulling back up to the Blue Marina. To call our taxi so we can get ready to go to Shisha's Lounge, y'all. Shisha Lounge this was a good actually is, nice. Uh, they were playing good music. <laughs> uh, they had good drinks. They had hookah. The vibes was lit. Um, it started getting more and more people there the longer we stayed. But it was kind of fun. I think they low-key had the same DJ that they had up at Noah's Ark. And everybody from Noah's Ark said that they was coming to Shisha afterwards. So Shisha was just the place to be. Um, we were just turning up, y'all, because at this point, my birthday was at 12 o'clock. So I was lit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Shisha was cool. But, y'all, tell me why we ordered some pizza. Let me show y'all this. Um, I'm selling lip gloss. Excuse my hair. Um, you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my see? hair. <laughs> but now, for real, we just got back from Shisha and we had a time. We had a time, but we I'm gonna eat this pizza from after Shisha and eat my protein. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mariah Lynn, look at my friend, y'all. Oh my God, I can't even look. <laughs> Mariah, look at the camera. <laughs> y'all, we done had a time for real. It was super, super fun. The bass is lit, but I'm gonna eat this pizza and this frog is hungry, and we about to go to sleep. Catch y'all tomorrow. I'm back and record this, because I can't believe they put a, a can of vegetables on our pizza, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they put a can of vegetables on our pizza. They put... <laughs> oh my God, like... And I'm still eating it because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's you know, we are on our it's way to the... Uh, one night I finish. Uh, I was hanging. It's beautiful. I never been. I'm going to I need to go to the... Don't tell nobody the word now to go in here. Now we can see your foreign policy for I need to be released from these shackles. So yeah, most of the excursions or all the activities and restaurants are on Grace Bay Beach, but their drone photo shoot was located on Leeward Beach, but they had the taxi included in the price. So they had complimentary, I guess you can call it, taxi services that picked us up from the yacht club and took us to Leeward Beach. And they also took us back home after the photo shoot. So of course I can record and do the photo shoot at the same time, but I will tell y'all my experience. Um, from what I heard, I paid one ninety for the drone photo shoot, but they did tell us if you had booked through a hotel that was on the beach, like if you were staying there, that the excursions are much cheaper because of the rate or whatever like that. But um, the pictures come in the Dropbox. You got 72 hours to get your pictures back. I didn't even get my pictures the first day. So I had to keep calling them and asking them to email me my pictures. And then after that, it still took four days to get my pictures back. But y'all, they came out so cute, of course. But yeah, just make sure y'all own them about making sure that you're getting your pictures inside the Dropbox. And if you do stay in the hotel, of course, it'll be cheaper for you. So after that, we end up going back to Castaways. They had this little, little gift shop outside that we bought some stuff from. It was real, like authentic, handmade stuff from Turks and Caicos. Then we went back to go eat at Castaways. But let me tell y'all something about Castaways. The food is really good, but it's so many flies because it's an outside restaurant but just make sure y'all ask for one of these things that they gave us it's to keep the flies away from your food and as soon as they set it on our table the flies had basically like went away so if you eat here the food is good just make sure you ask for one of these burners that they put on the table to keep the flies away from your food so after castaways we end up finding this place called island scoop that has ice cream and fresh coconuts and also it's good to note that they have coolers in there it's not too many places on um see sawmill plaza that has coolers with cold drinks in it so if you've been walking all the time you need something cold to drink i would recommend stopping at island school to get you um a cold drink but this lady right here y'all she was super super sweet she cut our coconuts from uh, up uh she let us record so they literally take a fresh coconut open it and let you drink it it's basically 
only coconut water yeah. but they do everything there so it's super super fresh and this lady was just so super super yeah. sweet y'all my friend had wanted um, yeah, I drink coconut water every day at home uh, aloe vera plant she had like a whole bunch of aloe vera plants out here my friend said can I take a piece of this aloe vera plant she was like yeah I'll get you one she went and got a knife y'all cut the aloe vera plant up for my friend put it in the bag for her and everything she was just like yeah this is like natural like we won't charge you for this and she just she was just super super sweet y'all so after island school we bought walked back through the ritz to get to the beach and y'all it was fish in the water we had just noticed that we were swimming with fish that whole time but it was super super cool um because we wanted to do snorkeling and snorkeling was all booked up so i guess this was like kind of similar to that experience even though we both went snorkeling before in puerto rico but while we were swimming in the beach these two men was like y'all want to y'all they so sweet y'all want a boat ride y'all that it's only two of us that that wasn't working on this double decker y'all listening to music they gave us food they gave us drinks y'all but it's time my head was messed up for being in the water so long but i didn't even care we was having so much fun y'all it's just me and my friend on this yacht with the people who work the yacht like we had so much fun so after they docked the yacht we had ended up um going back to uh our hotel we were supposed to go out that night but y'all it was my birthday and i ended up going to sleep on my birthday i know so so lame <laughs> but this view was so beautiful so the next morning was our last day out there so we wanted to make sure that we hit mr Groupas. um from what we heard this is like drake's favorite restaurant on the island and a lot of the people told us that they had the best like i guess street food on the island that it's not like a regular bar and restaurant that all the tourists go to so we wanted to make sure we go to mr Groupas. they even had the signs up that they had the best food and stuff like that and um it was good so at that point we had already had our suitcase we had to go back to the airport y'all i was so sad to leave so um we did get the food from mr Groupas, but they had this restaurant in there that my friend said they had some really good veggie burgers in there so i didn't eat my mr Groupas. i ended up going to get this veggie burger and y'all this veggie burger was seasoned to the gods it was so good but after that, we went back to International, and my friend, her flight was before Say mine, bye. so she left me, <laughs> and I had to wait another hour oh, to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Um, I ended up walking to my gate uh, just to get back to Fort Lauderdale, and after that, of course, I had another, I think it was another two-hour layover that I had in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, before I could get back to um Atlanta so this is just me on a plane on my way back to Florida so just like they made us fill out the immigration forms on the way to Turks and Caicos they also make you fill out an immigration form going back into the states to go through customs only if you declare an item so they make you declare something like jewelry if you got over ten thousand dollars you have to fill out through the form to declare that so we go back through um, customs and border protection and they do make you recheck your bags to even get back on the flight. So I'm guessing maybe that's why it's not a direct flight because you have to do all that. So I had to go back through TSA, of I course, did. but I was so happy the clear line mm -hmm. wasn't yeah, long at Florida. Drink, drink. So I went and stopped and got me food and this good this, this food all and this drink was so good, y'all. The then time. I was on my way home. I just made it back home. Um, I'm going to make the ending quick. All I want to say is the key takeaways of going to Turks, I would say bring cash, make sure you, somebody who drives a boat, a captain that drives a boat, and then somebody who drives taxis. Because it's hard to find a taxi at night, and it's places on the island that you need to get to by boat only, so you have to have access to somebody that who has a boat. Um, you can pay people, but... Um, if they boat is full and they know other people, they'll go to them first. So just make sure you get cordial with a captain. And, um, yeah, the island is not really a turn, 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 turn up spot. It's more so like chill, relax, babs, and everybody is super, super cool. Um, but yeah, I think, I don't think I forget, forget anything. If I did forget anything, I will let y'all know, but. See y'all next time. Bye.